Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB foundation level sample paper discussions where we are talking about the tips, tricks and time management related to this particular examination. Well, finally there comes an end and uh, we are in final tutorial of this long playlist. Indeed, uh, we had a lot of questions a 160 question is not a big, you know, not a simple work. Uh, I think I had put a lot of effort to make sure that I could do my level best to keep talking, keep justifying and helping the community the best way possible. So your one simple like and support could really be great. And uh, I'm really happy that uh, we, we could do it. That's more important because we have crunch of these information to help people succeed in the examination. And as far as I'm able to do it, I'm really happy that I could prepare this uh, you know, entire playlist and now it would be there forever with anyone looking forward to crack this examination. Let's get started with the final tutorial. The final tutorial we have is the chapter six from the set B and we have remaining two questions from here. Let's quickly deal with them. The next question we have for you is question number 39 and it says, uh, given the following test tool categories, Straightforward collaboration tools, DevOps tools, management tools, non-functional testing tools, test design and implementation tool. Tools from which of the categories are most likely to facilitate test execution? Uh, seriously, I do, really don't have to put a lot of effort, including you. By this time, you know what exactly these type of tools are meant for. We know the categories from the previous uh, discussions that is from our tutorials. So if we start reading uh, from the top once again, collaboration tools are basically to communicate, facilitate uh, interaction between the team members. So this is not something which helps you execute the test, but help you like things like uh, video conferencing, uh, making a call or dropping a text, emailing, etc. So these are all collaboration where people can sync together, they can interact with each other using a software, right? So this does not do any kind of test execution. Uh, DevOps tool, uh, yes. DevOps tool is a particular type of tool which is capable of uh, having the entire tool chain completely automated and has the complete capability of executions. Be it about build verification, be it about uh, static analysis, unit testing, integration tests, or regression tests. The only sole purpose we have DevOps tools introduced is to automate the 100% execution. Third, Management tools, again, management tools can be tricky at points because uh, mo many people think is it a test management tool, it comes with an execution feature, but it does not execute. It may have an executor, which captures these steps, uh, the actual result, while we are manually executing the test. So executor in the test management tool is only to capture and manage the steps, but not to execute the tests. So please be careful. Again, the word is not test management tool. They are very, very generic purposefully to avoid that confusion saying management tool. Now this can be requirement management tool. This can be defect management tool. This can be configuration management tool. And in that context, this does not talk about any of the execution. Number four, uh, non-functional testing tool. You don't need me to tell you that non-functional tools are uh, specialist uh, execution tools for performance testing or other things like usability, interoperability, recoverability, security, etc. And these tools are directly involved in executions. Okay. Indeed, to do management, we need a test management tool for these executions as well. But these are direct executors. So that's a good option. And then the test design and implementation tool. Uh, remember the phases. Test design is where we write the test cases. Test implementation is where we prioritize, write the procedures, prepare the automation scripts, but we don't execute. Test execution is the phase where we execute. So if there is any such tool falling into this category, this will help you design the test, help you uh, prioritize, uh, help you prepare the data. So data preparation and all that comes into implementation, but does not get involved into any kind of execution. So with that particular discussion, what we had, the right answer for this particular question is, B, that is two DevOps tools and four non-functional testing tools are the only tools which will help you with executions in the given list, right? So let's move on to the next question quickly. The next question we have indeed the last question of this entire playlist and this particular set as well. That is which of the following is most likely to be a risk of test automation? 
we have discussed the benefits and risk associated with test automation and uh, we should just be recalling those things back from our knowledge and looking forward to complete that so let's move on the options option a says uh, the detection of additional high severity defects detection of additional high severity defects is a good thing right it's a benefit if any tool is promising me that hey i can help you find more defects than without the tool then i would call it as a benefit of the tool not as a risk because it's not giving me a challenge it's rather adding more value to my testing option b says providing measures that are too complicated for humans to derive providing uh, you know measures that matrices those parameters or those kind of measures which are simply difficult for people to do is really a benefit and help from the tool what we can achieve because tools are capable of doing those complex calculations as well which sometimes the humans cannot do and yes that would be seen as a benefit again which is very simple and straightforward right option c says incompatibility with the development platform incompatibility with the development platform is of course is going to be a challenge because even if i have the world's best tool with me but if it is not compatible with the development environment which i am working on i would have a challenge for it but the point to be noted is they have specifically mentioned a uh, development environment just to give you a carry forward thought process that test environment or development environment okay many people will start thinking okay i don't care if it is with the development environment it, it should be compatible with the test environment please don't be under that impression when it comes to a tool the development environment simply means the platform the language the technology which you're working with and you don't need me to tell you that a tool should be compatible with that the reason is for an example when it comes to just automation testing tool a tool should be capable of reading a particular language or underlying technology to draft the script right for example if i cannot identify an object from java then this tool is not capable of doing any automation on java based application might be good for python based applications so it is very important for us to understand what does the development environment means or else it could be a easy distractor resulting into no use okay let's move on to option d option d says sustainability reduced test execution times reduction in test execution time is a key benefit of having a tool being used in the organization or the project activities because that's one of the key reason why we procure a test tool that is to reduce our overall execution times and performing the activities more productively right so keeping that very straightforward the right answer to this particular question is c that is inc incompatibility <clears throat> with the development platform is basically one of the risk related to test automation and with that we come to the conclusion of this entire playlist and i'm really glad that i could share all my knowledge with you i hope this playlist will help you with all the tips and tricks uh, what you need to have for the examination additionally i'll just have one more tutorial to uh, wrap up and have all the compilation of all the tips and tricks what you may need so stay tuned for that so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning Thank you.